look who we are joined on the red carpet, Roberto Orsi, the one and only. Para mucha gente eres un hombre legendario. Ay, cuidado. No, no, no. <laughs> ¿Es un título demasiado grande o qué? Demasiado grande. No, no, no. No digas eso. Yo soy un, un amigo. Un amigo. So, esta noche vas a estar recibiendo el Visionary Award aquí en los National Hispanic. ¿Puedes creer? ¿Qué, sí, qué? ¿tú lo puedes creer? No, yo no puedo creer. Qué, eh, ridículo. ¿Por qué? Porque eres un visionario. <laughs> You're a visionary. Bueno, it, uh, fine. For you, what would you say? What would you say are like the five top qualities that a visionary has to have? Uh, just have your own vision and just just be strong. Just love your family. Just basic Hispanic um, values. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I love that. And uh, how do you feel being here at such an amazing gala? I mean, it's the 20th year that we do this, and such a powerful organization like the National Hispanic Media Coalition that always wants to make sure that Latinos are getting portrayed in a positive way in media. I feel very humbled. Uh, part of me is like, why are they even talking to me? Like, part of me uh, thinks that, um, that my family got me here. It's, it takes a village to, to get here, right? Sure does. And, and so part of me is humbled and part of me wants to just be positive and say, you know what, we're powerful. We actually have things to say. Uh, this is not um, affirmative action. This is power. We're powerful. We are. We are. And you know what? We love examples like you in the media because you get to inspire so many up and coming visionaries and creative people like yourself, right? So what would you say to maybe students out there that, that look up to you, look up to your work? What would you say to them as far as like not giving up, you know? Well, number one, I would say I'm always hesitant to give any advice to people who are going to replace me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but on the other hand, I would say they have power. And when you're bicultural, you are globalist. You, you have uh, an idea of what an international market is. And right now, movies, television, are about making sure that, that the whole world, it's universal stories. So if you're bicultural, if you're Latino, if you're Cuban, if you're Mexican, if you're like me, man, you, you have a leg up. It's not affirmative action. It's, it's an advantage. I love it. And so what are some upcoming projects we're going to be hearing of Roberto Orsi's name on. Tell us, can well, you give us a little uh, sneak peek of something? Sure, you know, The Mummy's coming out in uh, the summer with Tom Cruise, um, producing that. Um, you can still see my stupid shows, uh, Hawaii Five-O, Sleepy Hollow, um, Scorpion, um, and like that. And have you practiced a, a speech of what you're gonna say when you go up and receive the Visionary Award? Or you have no clue what you're gonna say? You know, I always like to feel like moved by the moment, so I have no clue what I'm going to say. I'm just going to go up there and, and just be moved by the stars. Yes, moved by the moment. Thank you, Roberto Orsi, for stopping by. Y, uh, it's a pleasure to have you here you too. joining the Pachanga. Gracias. <laughs> Gracias. Take care.